is up? up? Next top in Media Nation. It's us, Peach. Chris. Chris. Yeah. There Sorry. you go. I forgot over there. And today we're going to be reviewing the Super Mario Bros. movie. Woo! So excited. Five, four, three, two, one. Swapped originality for cinematography. Because cinematography can be really important. You can but, have a great movie and it not be an original idea. Mm -hmm. So, which I did deal with that. Yeah. And you can also have a great movie that is not exactly shot poorly, but like it's not doing anything special. I'll have to update the score thing and we'll put it on the screen for y'all to know. Starting with the plot, out of 25, I'll go first. I'll go ahead. It short and brief. It was a Mario movie where there was a bad guy named Bowser and there was a princess named Peach and Mario had to fight Bowser with Princess Peach. But it was different from the games because like Peach doesn't get captured. Luigi's the one that gets captured. You see that in the trailers. Um, so it's about Mario saving Luigi, which you don't really see in the games, but you know, he's meeting friends and he's also not from the Mushroom Kingdom. You kind of see that in the trailers too. It was nice seeing him get like acclimated to it. It was really cool. Nothing like insane, so I'm not about to give it a perfect score, but I think this is like about as good as it could have got for a Mario movie. Like it's original enough in its plot that it's interesting and cool. So I gave it a 21. Dang. All right, for me, I enjoyed the plot overall, but it was kind of not a whole lot there, kind of bare bones. Like a pretty thin plot, which isn't a bad thing because it did it very well and it's a kid's movie. But even for a kid's movie, uh, it was fairly simplistic. Uh, overall, I still enjoyed it though, so I gave it a positive score. I said 14 out of 25. I enjoyed basically all the characters. There weren't really, there wasn't anyone that I didn't like. Jack Black as Bowser was definitely my favorite. He killed it, which I knew he would. He's Jack Black, he's the best. I gave characters 13 out of 15. Real. 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 I also agree, um, I like the characters. They were all fun and stuff. The one exception, Kamek was in this movie, Kamek, Magic Hoop, I don't know, I don't care what they're called. The character the was wizard. fine, I just hate the little wizard thing. I also don't like Diddy Kong, but screw Diddy Kong. What is wrong with Diddy? You're crazy for that one. I don't know, Diddy but Diddy Kong, Kong was like a cameo in yeah, this movie, so I don't really count that, but I don't know. All the characters were super enjoyable. They didn't give Bowser like a redemption arc, and that's what I was worried about. I was scared that there would be some other random villain and Bowser was gonna be one of the good guys, and I thought that would've been lame. So, um, 14 out of 15. Enjoyment. I felt like a little kid watching this movie, and it was incredible. Mm -hmm. Every time that they like hinted at one of the games or like made a little reference, I was just like, oh! They said Galaxy! Yo! Super Mario Galaxy! The oh my goodness! Like, you know, they played Mario Kart. Played Mario Kart. They did all this stuff and it was super fun. The worst thing about the movie for me was there was King Boo, but no booze. I love booze. They're, they're my favorite Mario thing. I love the booze. No booze. And there was also no Funky Kong. Kind of sad about no Funky Kong. Um, but that was about it. That was, that was the only thing that I took enjoyment off of. But one of my favorite parts was towards the beginning of the movie, Mario and Luigi are going like through the city and it's like a side view and just, it's like camera scrolling with them. And it literally is just like a platformer level, like a platform level mm -hmm. from the games. It was so fun to watch. I loved it. And then it ended, they were like, it was like a, just a normal looking building, but it was like kind of shaped like a castle and it was like called Burger Castle or something. Like, and there was also like, a pole that Mario slid down on. So it was like when you beat the levels in Mario. It, it just, so it activated something in my brain. So and I was so happy. I gave enjoyment a 24 out of 25. Uh, I really enjoyed it as well. I thought there were a lot of great references to the games, uh, but it wasn't like really over the top with fan service stuff, which was really nice. Uh, there was also not a ton of humor, but at the same time, I kind of liked that because the jokes they did make landed really well. I thought there could have been more humor, but that's not really a complaint. Because like I said, everything was funny. I gave enjoyment 22 out of 25. Like you said, it kind of made me feel like a little kid. Like, yo, it's the Mario Bros. And the Mario Bros. And with all the little references and stuff, I was like, yo, I remember that. For effects, I thought the the art style and effects overall were 
really well done. Like, I wouldn't say it blew me away with like perfect or anything, but like it never was bad at any point. I give it a four out of five. I was kind of torn between a four and a five, but like, I don't know, there was nothing ever wrong with the effects. And it's probably the best looking illumination movie I've seen. And there was like a lot of detail and like, it was clear that a lot of love was put into this yeah. movie. And for that, I just bumped it up to a five. I gave him a little extra point. It was very there. bright and like vibrant, it especially was, like the Mushroom Kingdom. It, it was, was a really pretty movie. movie. Uh, cinematography, a little bit weird to do for animated movies, but it still exists. There's still a camera in animated movies. It was nothing special, but it wasn't bad. That's all I gotta say about it, really. Three out of five. Yeah, basically, same for me. Like, the, you know, I hate saying camera work, because, like, I think it sounded like there was, like, actual camera involved, but, like, the shots of landscapes and stuff like that were always really well done. Like, nothing that blew me away, though, so I gave it a three out of five, too. Word. Voice acting, uh, for the most part, everything was fine. Not really any complaints with the voice acting. There were like a couple points where I was kind of like a little iffy. Chris Pratt, well, I know a lot of people worried about the Chris Pratt voice acting for whatever reason, but I don't know, he did fine to me. Uh, the only one that like really blew me away with how good it was was probably Bowser, Jack Black. Although Anya Taylor-Joy did really good as Peach yeah. too. They were both like really perfectly cast. Uh, and Charlie Day was great too. Charlie Day, I think, was matched his character the best. He yeah. played Luigi. He seems like he looks like he, Luigi in real life. He too. played He's literally the Luigi. perfect Luigi. He was great. Overall, I get acting three out of five. Uh, for me, voice acting, I, I, I think the main cast was, was like pretty perfect. I think the only person that they might have been able to take better would have been Seth Rogen. It's Donkey Kong, like they could have chose somebody else to play a better Donkey Kong. He didn't do bad. I also don't care for Seth Rogen. Yeah, I don't like so. Seth Rogen either, but I thought he did fine. He, he did fine. Um, but, so for the most part, like, it was really good. I also, I get, like, people are like, oh, but Chris Pratt's not even Italian. What the heck? Why don't they get the dude that voice acts Mario to do it? That guy, oh, no. he says, wahoo, in the game. And that's me. literally it. Like, he says, like, like that. Barely. Not, if I had to listen to an Italian accent for like what two hours, I'd die. It was Sorry. hour thirty minutes, but yeah. Okay, um, yeah, no. And also considering the movie, how like the plot of it, because like Mario and Luigi aren't Italian in the movie; they're from Brooklyn. Like, oh, but they come from an Italian family. Kind of I mean, yeah, I guess that's yeah. true. They do come from an Italian like, family, but they, I think they were like born in Brooklyn. Like they were yeah. raised in Brooklyn. They were like New Yorkers, basically. They were just New Yorkers. Yeah. They were Italian, but it wasn't like their character. Like, they weren't just Italian dudes. But yeah. then, like, there was in, like, the Super Mario Bros. trailer, they, they talked Italian. So we got a little bit Italian yeah. Chris Pratt, but it wasn't necessary. We're good talking. So I thought Chris Pratt did fine. Jack Black, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Charlie Day were definitely the three yeah. best, though. Loved all of love them. Four out of five. <laughs> There was, I was attached to the characters. I wanted, I wanted everybody to succeed. I was, I was happy at the end. Um, you know, Mario and Luigi definitely had a really sweet little brother bond going. When they get like reunited, it was really sweet. I was like, oh, Mario and Luigi. When it ended, I was like, I hope they make a sequel, but I'm not gonna cry when it takes three years. Right. I was very happy with the characters. I was attached to them, but you know. Not the biggest attachment. Seven out of ten. All right, I'm basically the same. The character I was most attached to, honestly, is probably be Bowser, just because I thought he was hilarious, and like that's usually what ends up making me feel attached to characters, like when they make me laugh. I did also really like the bond between Mario and Luigi too. Overall, I like I felt attached to the characters, so I said six out of ten for word. Finale? 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 finale. Let's do the finale. All right. Now. I liked the finale. It was good. Uh. Not a lot to say about it. I mean, it ended kind of the way you figured it would, I guess. It had a very happy like, I can't spoil anything, but like, yeah, it ended very well. Seven out of 10. Um, so for me, I really liked the finale. It was fun. They didn't like do anything super special. The location of the final battle was like weird because there was like no consequences afterwards. <laughs> yeah. So that kind of threw me off a little bit. I also like light spoilers. So skip ahead. At the beginning of the movie, before Mario and Luigi find the Mushroom Kingdom, or find this other world, um, yeah. they like, Brooklyn is like drowning. Like there's like a pipe that bursts and like the entire city is flooded. And then Mario and Luigi go to fix it. 
and then they find the new world while they're trying to fix it and then like that doesn't get brought up again i thought that when they inevitably went back they were gonna be like you know the yeah, city was gonna be city. underwater yeah. not fully underwater because that'd be dumb but like I don't know. It was it was a little weird, but that didn't bother me. They didn't like address like they they got they transported to the Mushroom Kingdom because they like, wanted like a job, but then like they were never really referenced again. Yeah, it they was because white. that's how they went there, and then it never got addressed again. I mean, you can fill in the gaps from the same time. It's not yeah, like a big gap to fill in. Eventually, somebody fixed it. Yeah. Essentially, but it's like, huh? It just was like confusing to me. Kind of weird too, because they didn't really explain how long Mario and Luigi were gone. Because like they went to the other world, and you see their family again. But you don't really know how long they've been gone for, because like their family is just like, oh hey, there's Mario and Luigi. Just you like, can see that like days have passed in the mushroom the kingdom, but it hasn't been that many days. Yeah. And the family's just like yeah, they're chilling, carrying bro. on. <laughs> they moved on fast, like yeah, that was weird. Family just like seemed to move on really fast. It was weird. But I don't know. It, it didn't like take away from the finale that much. It was a just overall a, a really good finale. Mm -hmm. Eight out of ten. Very good. Which brings my total score up to an eighty-six. Woo! Mario. Mario. Woo! Yippee! Oh, I gave it a 72. Enjoyable nice. movie. You should go see it. Great movie. I really loved it. Bye bye. I'm, I'm Peach. I'm Chris. And we're Peach, Peach Chris. Chris.